What's up guys, Patrick here, welcome back. In this question, we're given a set of restrictions and for each set of restrictions, we have to give an example of a rational expression that simplifies to three X plus one over X minus five. The denominator must be a quadratic or cubic function. So that's the restriction that we're given on the uh, rational expression that we have to provide. The denominator has to be quadratic or cubic. So starting off with number one, we're told x cannot equal negative two or positive five. So let's write out what the rational expression is gonna to simplify to. Well, notice that x cannot equal five. It's already taken care of here in the simplified expression because x minus five cannot equal zero, which means x cannot equal five. But we have this other expression or this other restriction, x cannot equal negative two. So we know that there was some kind of bracket here that canceled out, right? So x cannot equal negative two. What does that mean? It means x plus two cannot equal zero if we bring the negative two over. So that's the factor. that was there earlier. So if you're just given this, forget everything in this question and pretend you were just given this here and you're asked to simplify it and you're asked to state the restrictions, well, it's already factored for us. So um, the restrictions, we would say x minus five cannot equal zero. So x cannot equal five and x plus two cannot equal zero. So that means x cannot equal negative two. Then the x plus twos will cancel out and we're left with three x plus one over x minus five. And also notice that the denominator is a quadratic function, right? So basically we are done. This works here. Now, sometimes um, whether textbooks or teachers on a test may want you to expand the expression. So you would just simply FOIL the numerator foil the denominator if they want it in that expanded form and not this factored form. Usually this is okay, but if you were to expand it, you would end up with three X squared. You'd have six X plus X, so that would be seven X plus two. That would be in the numerator. And then here you'd have X squared, two X minus five X, so that would be minus three X and this would be minus 10. All right, so that there works out. If you want another example, you could actually just put any number in front of both. So you could put maybe like a two and a two because just a number here, this doesn't affect the restrictions, right? It's just a two, there's no other X variable. So that's another example. You just multiply everything by two, multiply everything by two, and then ultimately the twos would cancel out. But uh, usually if they don't ask for two examples, I usually don't put um, any extra coefficients. I try to keep it as lean as possible. All right, so that's number one. Uh, what about number two? So let's write what we're simplifying to, three X plus one over X minus five. Again, this x minus five takes care of this five here, but we have this x cannot equal zero and then x cannot equal negative a half. So basically what happened here is that there were two factors that canceled up, right? Because we have two extra restrictions. So starting off with x cannot equal zero, well, there's nothing else to bring on the other side. So it's just X by itself. So there was an X here and X here that canceled out, right? Whenever there's an X by itself, if you remember from previous examples, it means X cannot equal zero. That's one of the restrictions. So whenever you have this restriction here and you're going backwards, you know it's just X, All right? So that's for X cannot equal zero. What about X cannot equal negative one over two, negative one half. 
Now, whenever there's a negative, I always like to put it in the uh, numerator so the denominator stays positive. And then what you want to do to go backwards to find out what that factor is, is you multiply both sides by the denominator to get rid of it. So multiply this by 2, multiply this by 2. 2's cancel out, and then we got 2x. Sorry, this should be cannot equal right there. So 2x cannot equal negative 1 bring the negative one over, so 2x plus one cannot equal zero. So this is 2x plus one, this is 2x plus one. So if we were to isolate for x here, we would end up with x cannot equal negative a half, which is what we originally had. And right there, that is the answer. If you wanna make it look a little nicer, you could put the x in front. So you could have like uh, 3x plus one, times 2x plus 1 all over x, x minus 5, and 2x plus 1. So if you're just given this, asked to simplify it, asked to state the restrictions, restriction, it's already factored, so restrictions, x cannot equal 0, x cannot equal 5, x cannot equal negative 1 over 2, which is what is required. And then when you simplify it, the x's cancel out, the 2x plus 1's cancel out, and you're left with that simplified expression. And also notice here, the denominator is a cubic function. If you were to expand it all, the um, leading uh, term would be 2x cubed. Okay. And again, you can have it in expanded form. <clears throat> you would uh, foil out these two brackets, foil out these two brackets, then distribute that x inside. But I'm just going to keep it like that for number two. Leave it in factored form. Okay, and then uh, finally, we got this one restriction, x cannot equal 5 for 3. So let's rewrite what we are simplifying to. Now, technically, we could just leave it like this because it simplifies to this and that's a restriction. X cannot equal five. That's already done with this factor. Problem is, is that we're told that the denominator must be a quadratic or cubic function. So what can we do to keep this restriction as only X cannot equal five, but it has to be a quadratic or cubic. So if it's a quadratic, there's gonna be another bracket there. Well, what does that bracket have to be? Well, if you think about it, this is the only restriction. The bracket has to be x minus 5. Again, like that. Because then these two x minus 5s will cancel out, but it's not going to change the restriction. x still can't equal 5 because it's the same factor in the denominator. All right? And if you want to make this look a little nicer, 3x plus 1, x minus 5, all over x minus 5 squared. And actually, we can make a cubic as well. We could put a 2 here, and then we could put a 3 here. That's another example that would work, because then this would be cubic, and it would still simplify to 3x plus 1 over x minus 5, because there's two factors up here, three factors up there, so we'd be left with um, one factor down there. But uh, yeah, let's just keep it as the original, like that. Another thing you could potentially do if it has to simplify to that is you could put like a, uh, um, a number in front of both. So the twos would cancel out or maybe you could put a five or whatever, any number. And then you don't have to put that x minus five and then it still simplifies to that. The problem is, is that they're, we're told that the denominator must be a quadratic or cubic. If we just put a number in front without this factor, then that's still linear. The denominator is still going to be linear. So we do have to have at least one other bracket there in the denominator. right? But that's an example. So this simplifies to this, and the restriction is still x cannot equal 5. There's still only one restriction.